Okay, everybody, welcome back. This will be step four of the building of the EPP Eagle. So what I'm going to show you how to do now is how to attach the ailerons and the elevator on your Eagle. So what we're going to do is, for the demo here, I want to show you how to install one of the elevators. As you can see here, I don't know if the camera will pick this up, I've already glued on here the little micro control horn here, and it's a little plywood base and that's how it's attached. So what we're going to do to uh, tape the ailerons in place is we've cut a bevel, a 45, on the bottom of the front edge of the aileron here and we've also done it on the same of the wing. This is the top of the wing so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want the bevel to be on the bottom side of this edge. So the way we're going to attach this to the uh, wing here is we're going to take some little pieces of strapping tape and we're going to put these on about four of these. One here, one at the end here, one in the middle here. another one here. So we're going to put on here four pieces of tape, if you can see this, four equally spaced pieces of tape, and then we're going to just tape it in place, leaving a little bit of a gap between the leading edge like this. see how this moves up and down here to make the hinge. Then what we're going to do is we're going to flip this over and we're going to put a piece of tape on the bottom edge to complete the hinge here. So we're going to flip this over here. Now to speed up the video I've already I've pre-cut these pieces of tape so I can actually show you how to do this faster. So I've actually since I've already done the other side of the wing, I'm just kind of speed this up to do it a little faster to show you how to do this. And we're going to put a piece of tape here in the middle. Like this. And then we're going to fold it over on itself and this is how we press the tape together. And then what I'll do is I'll go in with my X-Acto knife and I'll cut any excess tape off. So we've done that. Okay. And, and since I'm only at the three minute mark of my video and I think I have about five minutes, I can quickly show you how to install the servos too. The servos actually, you can see here, the servo, this is just a five gram servo, uh, an SG50. Um, and what we're going to do is basically to install the servo here. You'll notice there's an easy connector on here. That's so I can just hook up there. You can see the easy connector here. So to install the uh, servo, you just get pressed into the cutout on the hole here. I've cut a slot here in the wing so I can channel the the, the servo lead through there. And that's how we install the servo. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hook up the linkage from the easy connector to the little push rod. I have a piece of wire here with a little bend in it. And what we're going to do is we're going to feed this through the easy connector here, through the hole. Like this. And then this wire just goes through the bottom of the just through the bottom of the control horn like this. It's a pretty straightforward hookup so far.
And then this is actually just held in place with a little easy connector. I don't know if you're able to see this. And this is what holds it all into place. So let's see if I can slip this in place here real quick. Just like that. I don't know if you can see this on the video. There you go. That's it. That's a finished side of the wing there. I'll do that on the other sides and we'll be all done and then we'll tape it all in place and we'll move on to the next step.